It's not all Ferraris, Porsches and Nismos, you know. I do clean a few ordinary cars too, like this little 20-year-old Fiesta, for example, that I've been tending to for nearly a decade now. And uh, with its quarterly bath overdue, thought, why not film something a bit more normal for a change? So, as I say, I've been cleaning this car and others like it for a lot longer than I've been uploading to YouTube and while thankfully £20 valets are a thing of the past, still enjoy grounding myself with the odd uncomplicated clean of an everyday car. Plus, I've got to pay for my penny sweets and football stickers somehow. Now, despite being washed with my own fair hands three or four times over the last 12 months, because the Fiesta is not used on a daily basis, hence the 25k on the clock, its various ageing nooks and crannies tend to acquire unsightly greenery, and that coupled with the winter road splatter it had picked up following a festive country spin meant that it was definitely in need of a good bath. While I only ever really give the dated Ford a basic wash and vac as it's cleaned in addition to another more sizeable car, as I had it for the day here aim to at least try and play catch up with some of the problem areas that I'd never been able to previously tackle. So to start with, before the body was given a good soak and scrub, the little 13 inch wheels and tyres along with their surrounding muddy arches were given a bit of a pre-foam and pressure rinse to quickly remove any loose crud. A diluted all-purpose cleaner was then sprayed onto the plastic trims and tyre walls before being worked in with a shampoo prime synthetic wash mitt and soft brush. Now, while a basic wheel clean like this might not be particularly glamorous, with no barrels, painted calipers or fancy spokes to tend to, I can literally get all four done in less time than it would take to properly clean just one of my own. Instead of its usual basic pre-rinse, the fizzy was then foamed over for a change to give it a chance to properly soak in snow for a few minutes, and it was funny to think that this was probably the first time in its entire life that it had been treated to a product like this. Once it had done its soaking and softening then, the foam was pressure rinsed off but not too thoroughly as I was going to be following up with a dedicated agitation and secondary rinse of all the nooks and crannies to release the more stubborn stuff, so just kept this first one relatively straightforward.
The roof channels, window rubbers, badges and various crevices that contained any organic matter were then hit with the same diluted all-purpose cleaner used on the wheels before being thoroughly worked over with a few softish detailing brushes to dislodge as much of the ingrained greenery as possible. And I'm not going to lie, it was quite satisfying seeing a good portion of it finally being pulled out and rinsed away after all these years. The pop-out back windows seem to be the main culprits for harbouring moss, so we're opened up from inside, allowing a few pressure washer resistant compacting caterpillars to be uprooted and removed by hand. Once the Fiesta's neglected folds have been thoroughly brushed out and rinsed off, a single grit guarded bucket was filled ready for a basic contact clean as a two bucket wash on 20 year old flat and already heavily swirled paintwork would have been a waste of precious time here. Starting at the top, a microfiber wash mitt was used to work the chilly suds over all the exterior surfaces and because this would essentially represent the last bit of proper wet cleaning before I saw it again in the spring, ensured I gave them a damn good scrub. A few areas of the tied paintwork were sporting some unsightly black streaks, so a quick spritz of all-purpose cleaner up front helped the shampoo to cut through it. You just need to be aware that doing this will not only progressively flatten the suds in your bucket, but also potentially flatten or stain single-stage paintwork like this if left on the surface for too long, so wash over or rinse off straight after. Body sufficiently scrubbed with the microfiber mitt then, everywhere was thoroughly pressure rinsed down one last time to remove the soap and any remaining loose bits of greenery.
It was then obviously time to dry the Fiesta off in the damp and drizzly weather, and uh, that combined with its flat unprotected paintwork meant that despite it only being a small car, still took a lot longer than it perhaps should have. Now, a quality towel helps, but flat unprotected paint like this tends to want to hold on to unbeaded water, especially in damp conditions, so it was a case of wipe the towel over, wring it out, wipe it over again and hope that any remaining damp residue just dried off naturally. Once the exterior panels had been sufficiently towel dried, the skinny shuts were given a once over with a general purpose towel to remove any remaining light dirt which can accumulate in these enclosed parts, as well as keep any subsequent seepage from them to a minimum. After being wiped down, the shuts were left open for a few minutes to air out as they had been subjected to a fair bit of pressure washing, before the tyres were subsequently dressed old school style with a brush and some glossy high style from Autosmart. Now, because it's quite thick and potentially slingy, after being applied it was left to sit for a minute while the other tyres were tended to, before being thoroughly buffed back with a downgraded towel. While I'd usually just leave it at that for this particular car, I still had an hour or so before it got properly dark, so thought I might as well sprit something over the paintwork to at least try and brighten it up a bit, so grabbed some exterior finish spray from Koch Chemi. It was simply sprayed onto the Fiesta's paintwork a panel at a time, spread over its rough surface with one towel, left to haze, which it never really did here due to the damp winter air, then awkwardly buffed off with a different one because uh, colour coding products and processes generally make sense. The limonene in this product helps give it a bit more bite than other wax based detail sprays and while it only realistically lasts a week or so on a car that's kept outdoors at this time of year, I didn't have the means to do much more but every little helps and you never know it might just make the next wash that little bit easier. Last for the Fiesta's not so mini valet then was an interior glass clean to remove any watermarks left behind by my intrusive exterior pressure washing earlier. So a bulk glass cleaner I've used for about as long as I've been tending to this car was sprayed directly onto the inside of the windows before being worked in with a lint-free glass cleaning cloth first, then buffed over with a final fresh general purpose one to lift off any final smears.
And that was that. So nothing you haven't seen before in terms of products and process, but the car was due a routine minivan anyway. So thought fail forecast or not, why not make a day of it on camera instead? Obviously there was plenty that could still be done, but considering it probably hadn't been subjected to a clean like this in 10 plus years, if ever at all, didn't look too bad in my opinion, and while the moss caterpillars, winter mud and unfortunately even original badge may have washed away, the rest of the little car still very much remained. Now, as I often keep you guessing with generic bottles and sprayers, links to the products featured here can be found in the description below and they do take me a while to compile, so go ahead and check them out if anything you saw being used tickled your fancy. So, no trolling me with inquiries for £20 valets as you have to have known me for at least a decade, live within walking distance and also be over a certain age for that special rate. Still, as always, I appreciate you stopping by and I'll see you next month with more.